uh, the city, organization, fans, you know, um, everything I feel like I could. Don't know how long I'm going to play this game. People's careers are short, you know, and I feel like it's my time to move on. My reputation didn't, you know, drop the story or leak the story or anything like that. Someone else said, gave it to a reporter. A reporter called my agent and, you know, asked him if it's true. So um, we never wanted to leak it to the media. Um, wanted to do everything in-house, but, um, but that, that wasn't on us. You don't know how long you're going to play this game, you know, and I feel like I'm in my prime right now. I'm playing at an elite level, and, you know, I think that, um, you know, I want to make sure that I take advantage of that. I'm about legacy, you know, the money comes and goes. At the end of the day, it's a business, you know. Um, if that's what they want to do, then they have every right to do it. Um, but I just want to let them know that, you know, when I'm ready to play and able to play, I'm ready to suit up. Welcome back. All right, a lot to unpack after what we just heard from AD. Scotty, we'll start with you. Do you understand where Anthony's coming from? I totally understand. Um, you know, he's definitely one of the top five players in the league. And just not seeing this kid in, in the postseason, I, I think, is, is, is bad for our, our game. So I'm, I'm happy that he wants to go and compete. He want to play in the postseason. And, um, you know, he's done all he, he can for the Pelicans, I feel like. And it's time for him to part ways. I, I was talking to somebody last night who's very close, you know, to Anthony Davis, has been. And there's a feeling that this is very difficult for him, that, that seeing all these things, seeing him scrubbed from the video, the previous night, that all these things, including the decision itself to, to go this route, is very difficult for yes. him. And I, I, I understand that. Um, it, it, these are still very young guys that we're talking about. But then the hardcore business end of it comes back to, Scotty, do you think you'll see, that we will see Anthony Davis in a Pelicans uniform again? I, I do. Just, just just judging on what I saw uh, a few nights ago when he, he got injured, um, I still think that he's wholeheartedly still with the team and that he will go back and play. I think um, he'd play but, for them. I mean, he talked about that this yes, morning. The but, question is, will they let him play? Because we saw what happened to Boogie Cousins to that team last year. If he plays and hurts himself, they do not get anything for him in trade. I am very curious to see what happens there. I mean, I, I, I think he's a, he's a gamer. I, I think he's a player that is definitely going to give his heart and soul to his teammates as long as he's a part of the Pelican organization. So I do expect him to come back after All-Star break and play for them if he's not traded. Interesting. And Alvin Gentry said this morning there's been no decision made on that, right? So they got to figure out what they're going to make their trade this week. <laughs> right. So <laughs> that's we, which is the other, which is the, a different Right, question. exactly. Yes. Um, we have the Pelicans. We have our buyers and sellers board, which is one of my favorite things on earth this week. And we have had the Pelicans, of course, correctly in the sellers column.